everybody, welcome to Contra Thoughts. My name is Richard, and uh, we've got some Merry Christmas stuff coming up next. Hey, everybody, welcome. Uh, welcome, new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, it really does help uh, get the content to more people, it allows me to hopefully, as I build, uh, produce more content, uh, both Bible teaching and discernment and challenge of the world being contramundum. That's what this channel is about, being against the world, but for it, because the world is passing away, the world is fallen, the world is not good the way it is. Uh, we see this multiple times in scripture. And um, But I love the world. You were in the world at one point, and so was I. And I call us as believers, as Christians, to be against it and for it. And if you're not a Christian, um, follow along, and um, hopefully you learn something and challenge, ask questions. I'm all for that. So today we've got some Christmas cheer. It is December 2021 as I record this. And yeah, um, well, let's just watch this TikTok because we know TikTok is, you know, a bastion of common sense and conservative thought. So we're going to go ahead and watch this. This is a video a clip from the Daily Disciple who's watching something else. So now I'm watching his watching. All right. Let's see. Ready? All right. P that. Are we ready to talk about how white Christianity does nothing but perpetuate rape culture? And it started at the conception of Jesus. Mary did consent to that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Apparently, this woman's never read the Bible, ever, um, and uh, he goes on, <laughs> just like, uh, Mary didn't consent to that. Mm, what do you think about that? I just broke your whole historical, based on actual facts of a guy rising from the dead religion. I just busted all that up. White Christianity. So, okay. So, she talks about white Christianity, talks about rape culture. Both things are myths in the idea of the um, oppressor, oppressed, woke worldview. Okay. Uh, there is no white Christianity any more than any other Chinese Christianity or Brazilian Christianity or black Christianity or yellow Christianity or green Christianity or purple Christianity or anything else. It's nonsense. It's stupid and it's nonsense. Now, I understand what she's getting at in the sense that, you know, we're white men. Well, Jesus wasn't white. It's a Middle Eastern religion, okay? You want to talk about a religion being, quote unquote, white and American? Let's talk about Mormonism, okay? Let's talk about that. Or you want to talk about conquest? Let's talk about Islam. People yeah. criticize Christianity as if it's the only religion with a problem. We're talking about God in the flesh, God revealing himself in Jesus Christ. Well, let's just look at the text because she didn't. Luke 1, the famous Christmas passage. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city called Galilee named Nazareth. To a virgin. So, remember, by the way, a lot of people, a lot of leftists, a lot of um, <clears throat> unbelievers or skeptics, as it were, who say they're Christians, will say, well, you know, Mary just, and virgin just means young woman. You know, it doesn't really mean she didn't have relations. Well, Mm, yes, it does. <laughs> but more than that, if she's a young woman, she didn't have relations. We're not talking about 13-year-olds who are uh, promiscuous and, you know, fill in the blank, uh, as we have today in our modern context. So even if Mary was 12 or 13, 14, which she probably was, 15, something like that, mm, that's when people got married anyway. And it's really not that big of a deal because, well, she was betrothed to Joseph. And the Bible says she was a virgin, whether she was a young girl well, that implies she still was not, had been with a man. So no problems. But this is what the liberals used to do 50, 80 years ago. That's what they used to do. Now they're like, oh, she didn't give consent. As if consent to sex is the only um, barometer and rule in which to gauge sexual conduct. No. God gauges sexual conduct because he made you. He made me. He made this woman who's all like, oh, look at me. I'm going to kill. I'm going to, I'm a zinger. Boom! I got you. I got you, white perpetrators. Please. Please, woman. Please. 
a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, who the house of David. Notice all the details that Luke gives. He does this all throughout his gospel and in Acts. Both excellent books. I love them. And the virgin's name was Mary. So he says it, says it again. And he came to her and said, greetings, O favored one. Mm, favored one. Interesting. That's really hard. To get favor with God? Wow. The Lord is with you. Oh, he, she didn't consent to that. She didn't, she, didn't, she didn't ask to be talked to. She didn't ask to be favored among God who created the cosmos, who set the sun 93 million miles away and the moon this way and all the moons of Saturn or Jupiter and this and all the planets and the solar system and the galaxies and the tiniest molecules. Nah. The God creator of the universe coming in the flesh sending his angel to this particular woman, this girl in the Middle East. Yeah, nah, it's no big deal. I'm in charge of my body. Get out of here. Get out of here. But she was greatly troubled at this saying. Yeah, I would be too. Not only is it an angel, because people are terrified. So if anybody says, hey, an angel showed up to me. I was shaving this morning, blah, blah, blah. Get out. No, no. Doesn't happen. Did you faint? Did you pass out? Were you terrified? If not, then it wasn't an angel or much less Jesus. People like to do that all the time, especially the charismatics. But anyway, <clears throat> do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. He says it again. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, and he will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David and will reign over the house of Jacob forever and ever. And Mary said, well, how can this be since I'm a virgin, right? I haven't been with a man. This is a little weird. I know how babies are made. Angel, angel said, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. Therefore, the child will be born and will be called Holy, the Son of God. And Elizabeth, and then she says, for nothing is impossible. He says nothing is impossible with God. And mark this right here, ladies and gentlemen, 38. Behold, I am a servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. If this woman would read the scripture, according to your word, Mary is submitting. She's the one saying, let it be so. So this is why we need to have the Bible. This is why we need the scripture. Not our own ideologies, not some zinger, something, oh, we're going to do this and that. No. Rather, be against the world for the sake of the world. This is nonsense, ladies and gentlemen. Culture, uh, 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 consent. No. Sex between a man and a woman <clears throat> is what God has designed and everything else. Well, who are married, by the way. That's it. But it starts with white Christianity. There's no white Christianity. Jesus wasn't white. Paul wasn't white. Get out of here with this nonsense. Read your scripture. Go to the text. Be contramundum promundo. Until next time, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.